Okay, so I'm Lauren. I'm a master student, a social science master student, funded by the ESRC. And um, I'm going to just talk through um, my research, my dissertation. So for this research, I'm interested in the interactual management of agency in home care work with virtual assistants. So this research will explore how virtual assistants, i.e. smart speakers, work to support care assistants in promoting agency, independence and autonomy of service users. This re um, in 2020, 814,000 people received home care in the UK, which is forecast to increase, meaning that 40% more carers will be needed in 2037. The marketing of smart speakers is aiming to improve the accessibility and independence of elderly or disabled individuals, which can be seen in figure one here, showing the Amazon sharing is caring advertisement campaign. Interestingly, around a third of Amazon Echo users are aged 55 years or over. So the aim of this research is to understand the interactional practices and methods of technology use that support um, the independence and agency of service users in everyday home care work. Western societies are increasingly favouring um, care at home as most adults prefer to age in a place of familiarity. Receiving care at home signifies independence as it uses service users' own resources, suggesting a sense of control. The, the progressive decline of cognitive and physical abilities and physical abilities can result in loss of independence and increased feelings of redundancy. Previous work has found that the professional um, orientation of a care assistant can reduce service users' feelings of agency, as there's questions raised regarding the balance of closeness and distance in their relationships and interactions. So whether the care assistant is a guest or a professional in the service user's home. Smart speakers have the capability to remove barriers and give service users more control over their day-to-day -day living. Through a retrospective review of purchase reviews of the Amazon Echo, O'Brien et al found that using these devices in home care settings will increase accessibility for service users and also increase their perception of independence. However, there's very few studies that focus on the specific interactions and the procedures that can result in these perceptions. So I'll be asking the question, how is agency managed interactionally in home care work with virtual assistants? Discursive psychology will underpin this research. So discursive psychology is a form of discourse analysis that works to explore how discourse constructs our social world. It treats talk and text as the object of the study and allows us to concentrate on particular psychological issues or production of categories in talk. It holds a relativist stance and a social constructivist approach. And this is the first piece of research in this area that applies discursive psychology. So participants will be one service user with a smart speaker already well integrated into everyday living and four to six care assistants. And all participants will be recruited through a care agency. So I will aim to set up two cameras in a service user's home um, to collect video data of care assistance visits and hope to catch the use of a smart speaker in assisting the care worker with their routine. This will be analysed through the interaction between the service user and the care assistant and um, I'll use discursive psychology to do so. I also plan to conduct semi-structured interviews um, with all of the participants to gain an insight on their personal perceptions and it also allows for some comparison with my video data. This will be analysed using thematic discourse analysis, which works to understand how individuals um, construct their internal understandings of certain phenomena. So as um, participants will be uh, classed as vulnerable adults, I'll need a full ethical approval from Loughborough University Ethics Committee, and no participants will be approached that cannot give their own consent. I'll also make sure that process consent is implemented throughout the research to ensure that participants feel happy to continue and all names will be anonymized and all data stored securely. I'll be reflexive of my positionality throughout the research. Um, so I have two years experience as a healthcare assistant 
um, in home care. I have also worked with people living with dementia. So my experience can be used in a positive way for the research, however, may, may, may change how I interpret some of the data. So to conclude, um, this research area is very underexplored. It's not yet known how care assistants can introduce um, virtual assistants in promoting the agency of service users. It will contribute to a wide spectrum of understanding of how smart speakers can be used in home care. It aims to improve the quality of life of service users and further um, findings can be implemented to further research. For example, it will form a basis for my PhD research, which is centered around dementia and artificial intelligence. Okay. I'll be happy to any questions. We've got time for, for one or two questions. I, I would suggest, considering the time is running a bit late, is that we maybe put the questions in the chat and then the questions can be answered by the individual participants in the chat. And those of you who are here, we can talk about it during tea. 